Hi, this is Jeffrey Rhodes from experimentalhomesteader.com, and I'm taking care of the vlog today. Um, we've had kind of a busy day today, um, and it, I'm not sure that it was as uh, productive as we were hoping it was going to be. Um, we, uh, we've been looking at possibly trying to get a new car. Um, we had an offer come in the mail a few days ago, uh, so we started exploring the possibilities of a new car. Um, part of the problem is we owe uh, quite a bit on the current car, and it's not worth much. So we're upside down on the car. Um, so we went over and we were talking to car dealership, looking at a, a car, um, figuring out what we liked about the car um, while they were, you know, trying to run some numbers. Now, they still haven't actually given us any information about the numbers, really, um, but the car salesman we were dealing with today um, didn't really think that it was going to be within our budget of what we wanted to pay um, based on you know what we owe on the the car currently and what they might be able to give us as a trade-in um, the fact that it was still going to be upside down um, so that would be incorporated into the new uh, payment and the car that we were looking at even though it's one of the less expensive vehicles being a brand new car, it's more than you know what he figured we could have. You know, we could get for a, the monthly payment we wanted to pay. So we're still waiting to hear um, what the credit union has to say about it. They're supposed to put the numbers together, send it over to the credit union. Uh, we're hoping to hear something on Monday, but the attitude that we were getting today was that it wasn't going to happen. You know, it wasn't going to be feasible for what we wanted to pay per month. Um, you know, we were looking at almost double what we were wanting to pay. Um, so, it's kind of discouraging. Um, and Sherry was actually starting to get really excited about, you know, a new car. Um, and she really liked the car that we were looking at. Uh, we did a second test drive today. Um, you know, we did one last night and then we did a second one today because she really wanted, you know, to make sure that it was going to, you know, feel right. Because um, the, the first one, I mean, we went over kind of late, so we were rushing. Uh, you know, we only took it out for, you know, 10, 15 minutes, you know, just kind of driving around a little bit. Didn't go very far. Uh, today we asked them if we could take it for a longer test drive. We, they actually okayed us to take it to Kokomo. Uh, from Gas City, uh, which was a little surprising that we were allowed to go that far, um, but they didn't seem to have uh, really any problem with that. So we took off, you know, we were doing highway speeds, so, uh, and it was really nice, smooth ride, very nice car. So, and Sherry was excited about this uh, new car as well because of the fact that it has CarPlay. Uh, which allows you to sync your Apple or Android device to the car uh, and, you know, use your apps and everything from the car, you know, from, from the, the, the dash display. Um, you can also make phone calls. There's, there's a, even controls on the steering wheel for, you know, making calls. Uh, you can use your, your voice activation, your Siri, from your iPhone um, through the dash, you know. It's, so it's very nice. It's very useful um, for, you know, the fact that, you know, you're not supposed to be using your phone while driving. Well, this is a, a absolutely wonderful hands-free way of accessing your phone. Um, you know, you don't have to have a little mount and put your phone up on a little mount or anything. You plug it into the USB port and you're 
synced up and, and good to go and you know you can just you know voice activate the phone and call and plus you can access your Google Maps um, so it makes traveling that much easier because you've got the navigation instead of you know looking down at your phone or, or you know that type of thing it's right there on the dash in a nice big display uh, it'll make it very nice uh, for navigating um, the other nice thing about this vehicle um, it's, it's a hatchback vehicle um, it's actually the it, we were looking at a 2016 Chevy Spark um, and it's a hatchback and the back seats fold down so you actually have a decent amount of cargo space in the back um, and so this was this was something that we were discussing and, and that she really liked um, because it, it does provide I mean we've got a truck but sometimes you know I mean if it's if it's inclement weather you know you don't really want to use the back of the truck um, that's open and this has cargo space available so that you can actually put quite a bit of stuff in the back of the vehicle and carry it and it's enclosed um, plus this has a, this was a four-cylinder engine uh, great gas mileage um, you know the what it listed was uh, what was it I think it was 31 city and 41 highway or something along those lines it was an average of like 35 um, so you know it's great gas mileage um, one of the funny things for me was the fact it's only got a nine gallon gas tank uh, which is small um, I'm, I'm used to the you know the, the like 20 gallon gas tanks um, I mean I, I know you know the, the car we have currently doesn't have that it's only about a 12 gallon but you know I, I grew up in, in big cars with the, the, the great big tanks uh, and, and the, the pickup that we have actually has two tanks so um, you know it's it's that I wrapping my mind around that idea of, of a nine gallon gas tank um, but that would also you know mean you know 20 bucks you fill the tank with gas prices the way they are um, maybe even le you know less than 20 and you've got a completely full tank uh, if you were on empty so uh, it's really pretty nice and I'm still hopeful that maybe we can work something out uh, as far as as getting this car but um, it'll just depend on how the numbers work out uh, and whether you know the credit union can do anything to help us out so um, but just you know the, the attitude today it was rather discouraging so we're not sure uh, what's gonna happen so uh, and we did receive an item today um, for review uh, we did receive this for free or at a reduced price for honest opinions all opinions are our own and this is um, okay. This is a overhead movie projector uh, mount, um, which okay we don't have a overhead movie projector, but we do have um, an iPhone and some other video equipment. Um, cameras and things that uh, we can mount to the ceiling over our stove and get some uh, overhead shots of video and so I will be installing this in on the ceiling of the kitchen above the stove and this way uh, Sherry will be able to uh, you know use this to uh, shoot some video uh, so that while she's cooking uh, doing you know some of her cooking projects, she can get the overhead video that will give a better um, display, better presentation of what she's doing, uh, and I think this will be very nice. Um, so, this is our next little project to work on. So I think that's going to do it for today, um, and so uh, give us. Thumbs up, thumbs down, uh, comments below, subscribe. We're still trying to reach 5,000 subscribers uh, by the end of the year. Uh, and so just, you know, 
keep tuning back and uh, see what we uh, find out about the car in a couple of days. So uh, we'll see you again tomorrow and have a great night.